and welcome back to the Faux Scott We Men Report. Today we have the Faux, the We, and the Man. Scott will be here later halfway through the stream while Faux has to leave. So. Sadly, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, not again. No. So, as of last stream, we said we were going to do a Gatorade mixing uh, session, which right now we are going to start off with since Faux has to leave early and Scott gets here. We'll do it again with him. So sadly, we did not get every flavor. Yeah, we got three, bad. two of the best ones, and then the worst one that we agreed on. Yeah, because from last stream, we came to unanimous kind of unanimous decision, okay? That um, Fruit Punch and Glacier Freeze were the best Gatorade flavors, while Cool Blue was unanimously, by all, by all of us, the worst one. Yes, and we have these exact colors here, all mixed together in one beverage. Yeah, and it's like this weird, muddy purple color. Yeah, it, it, it like smells a... good, but but, oh. but 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 then again, uh, you guys did pour a lot. Mine more doesn't than have I a did. smell. <laughs> Mine does not have a smell. Wait a second, he lost his smell. <laughs> That's suspicious. Seriously, <laughs> take a whiff. Take a whiff. I can smell something in it. Yeah, I mean, you sure you're okay, guy? I don't know. Oh God, no. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, All right. let us commence. All right. Thumbs up. This is the most neutral flavor I have ever had in my entire life. Yeah, honestly. Th this is a whole heap of... Yeah. I don't... Yeah. It, <laughs> it, it yeah. yeah. It, it literally... It doesn't taste like much. It no. doesn't taste anything. It tastes like just sugared water almost. Maybe this is the secret to Gatorade. <laughs> <laughs> this is... It's, it's just that was sugar like the water. the worst time to say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we, it can't be mixed, otherwise it wait, is hold just on. dull. So my, so my second sip, I got a little more flavor in there. It tastes like uh, gummy bears. I take, you know what a fruit roll up is? Yeah, that's what mine tastes like. That's mine, tastes like. mine, roll up. mine definitely tastes like something gummy. Mine tastes like a stale fruit roll up. <laughs> <laughs> just like just one that you've left yeah. out there. If you could, if you could water down a fruit roll up, this is what it tastes yeah. like. It's just a fruit up. It doesn't roll <laughs> anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it, it don't roll anymore. God, that's weird. Indeed, very strange. Oh, so it definitely tastes like a fruit. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know, so I, I think we've. I think we actually. Our thesis was correct. It our, is our a theory, neutral flavor. It was literally neutral with the best flavors and the worst flavor. It just cut out. Two of the best have to cancel out one of the. Oh, worst. And, and the sky is, is here. Oh my God. Yeah, I guess it's more earlier than we thought. Um, yes, so we should. Here. Yes, so we should probably mix it up a little concoction. Oh gosh, what have I? Uh, Why is there ruffles? Those uh, are we don't we, we don't uh, know. All right, okay. So I just brought that in case somebody just needed something. Ooh, I am a little hungry. A little well, oh, you you no, hungry? No, no, I got no. worse. Like you need. I got Chex mix. I got leftover Chex. So since we brought ruffles, we're turning this into the faux Scott man ASMR session. <laughs> you don't like that? No. <laughs> no. Right. Actually, what is it? Yeah. We should have a rule board. I no. guess that we could be a topic for today. I guess right. like oh, ASMR. What's okay. your opinion on ASMR? You know, uh, like water ice. dripping ASMR, Joey. No. <laughs> <laughs> Where we listened to that for two, it was three a, hours. Three hours. It was three a, okay. water it was dripping. Did that? ASMR. Okay, it was a three-hour video, and it was just this lady who was just dripping water, like moving the cup. Weirdly, so you just get weird water sound effects. Yeah. It was the strangest thing in the world. She never drank it. It was just water noise for three hours. How can three you do that? Three hours we listened to that. But anyways, yeah. Okay, so what am I drinking? Um, so it is a com it's a combination of the two best flavors that you know we we came to a conclusion on, which was fruit punch and glacier freeze. Yeah. And we combined the worst flavor in it, cool blue, and we made this weird muddy purple period. Are we? Can we get a sponsorship from Gatorade? <laughs> we should. Hey, a, um, any Gatorade reps listening to this? Uh, we're calling you out. An affiliation or a sponsorship? Both. Both. <laughs> yeah. It's either also, one or the other. Now we're taking we're... a sip. I get a weird feeling of like a great happiness taste, and then at the very end, I get that hour taste of cool blue, and I'm sad again. <laughs> no, that, that is weird because for me, it's the exact opposite. Like, same. Well, yeah, because at first I'm like, ooh, this don't taste good, and then after a while, it starts tasting. Good. Because, because the theory coming down on that. Peyton, how how do you feel? That face that says, last that last swig tasted like rubber. 
Oh, How do you know what rubber tastes like? Do you, you don't you eat don't rubber? On, on, like, every, <laughs> I, I yeah, Saturday rubber. morning, you don't eat rubber? You all just see me chomping on a tire outside. <laughs> every once in a while. Yo, mom pegged me an after school snack. It's my bike tire. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a whole tire. Just just, uh, <sighs> just detached from the wheel. It's, it's just the tire. You Here it is, boys. So my he's... dad's Ford F one fifty all road. All right, all right. We all got, right, we got so, the so what? Done. What was your opinion on it, Nate? It was, I'd say, a C plus. Like, so an F. Yeah, yeah. How basically. would you describe it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's it's more of like a. Uh, that's it. Yeah, yeah. I wish That's I could gonna wrap that. Uh-huh. 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 Slope up, slope. Like it's... <laughs> yeah, so like in conclusion, this is the most average Gatorade flavor you could ever drink. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, that last swig. Yeah, I agree. Swig. It tastes really weird at the end. That last swig. Last okay. swig. Yeah. The last <laughs> swig. It too. No, I'm not done with it yet, but like I haven't sipped it in a while. I'm starting to get that taste in my mouth. I'm like, mm, I don't know. Do you then, need then any after, ruffles? Okay, but, okay so ruffles. do we want to try just the cool blue? Yeah, no. Yeah, I, oh, I'm, sad enough, I'm sad enough today. No, seriously, it's not bad. Seriously. Like, that. there's a reason why I bought the water bottles to give it a good shake. You get yeah. Shook it. Shook it. Shook it. I am shook it. I am shook it. Uh, okay, you know what? I say let's just go with cool blue. No, I'm not drinking that. You're not drinking that? No, well, I, I feel like getting extra depresso today. <laughs> okay, so while we're going to... While we do this thing with the Gatorades, I'm going to move to my topic because yeah. I feel like we should you get have this to, out of the way. You have to leave in 19. Yeah, okay. The Blair Witch Project is a garbage movie. Amen. Amen. Because... Uh, well, it's your topic. I'll let you go. For it's like first. it's like an hour and a half of just straight complaining to something finally happening at the end, and it being absolutely nothing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And spoilers, by the way. Spoiler. Spoiler alert. Oh no! Oh. Spoilers for a twenty-two-year-old movie. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> it just at the end of it, it's literally just the guy standing in a corner, <laughs> and then she That's drops the camera. So funny. <laughs> What are you doing? And he's just standing. He's just the standing there menacingly. However, I I do disagree with like, because I haven't seen the movie in forever. Like last time I watched it, I was I wasn't even ten years old yet. Mm-hmm. But I, I just think because like the influence that it had, you can't automatically disqualify it from being just a good movie because the movie had to do something in order to spawn an entire genre. Also, you gotta remind. This is a reminder. It was like a student project. It was. Film, it was. So there's not gonna film. be. Well, you're probably not gonna see a monster a at the film. end. You, you the production quality is not gonna be the, good. The Conjuring, well, yeah. the Conjuring is actually based off of. I don't. I haven't seen The Conjuring. Yeah, it's nothing special from what I've watched. But it's just. You know what the thing that makes me sad? Stephen King, the guy of the creator of it, like one of the like, scariest things ever, said that's the most terrifying movie ever. Pro- all right. Well, because probably because the Blair Witch Project isn't necessarily built on what you can see. Because from what I've noticed and what I've analyzed from like videos and stuff, yeah. it's more suspense horror, if anything. Mm-hmm. Which yes, can be a deterrent for some people. Like oh. This was the most anticlimactic thing I've ever watched in my entire life. For yeah. some people, they're like, oh my god, this is horrifying. Because, yeah, because the more creative a person is, the more, like, scary it could be because, like, they oh. don't know what's coming next. Okay. We just got a follower 40 minutes ago, apparently. How oh. you land it? A chance? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let you know. Listen, this concoction they just made me, Peyton, it's horrible. I know. What, what, what is horrible? So, it, what it, happened? It's just fruit punch and cool blue. Oh. Oh. Wait, how is it horrible? This tastes so bad. <laughs> like it's worse? it's like flat. It's like it, flat? it's just flat. It's already flat. <laughs> well, shut up. is not carbonated. <laughs> no, like no, like flavor as a whole. It, there's like nothing there. It's it, it is literally just a straight line. It's there's nothing. If flavor was a straight line, it'd be that mixture. Yeah, if there's nothing well, gooey. Yeah, uh, do you agree? It doesn't like, taste like anything. It doesn't taste bad, but it doesn't taste good. It's just on the pure line of, like, neutral. Like, you can tell it's a Gatorade product, so, obviously, but you just can't tell it. So, taste. on comparison to the last one that we had, like, which one? Well, this one's, like, the other one was slightly better because, like, 
you had it had some sort of taste. This it, just it doesn't have good. like a taste, but it, it has that Gatorade taste that you can know that this Gatorade. is li- this is just like a straight line in math class that doesn't have any points marked. On yeah, it. it's just it's it's empty. This this, this is congruent, bro. <laughs> this thing is congruent. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah. This this was y, a, y equals two x. This was like a two point five out of ten would yeah, definitely like not better, chug again. This looks like a better color. <laughs> Like if it was, I will agree if, that if it was like cool, if it was like cold, maybe. But... Yeah, probably. Yeah, because we well, are all, we are drinking well, warm all Gatorade. All Gatorades would probably be more refreshing if it were cool instead of like cool blue. Yeah, you know? cool blue is just blue. It's nothing. It's nothing else. It's just blue. If blue was a color, cool blue just makes yeah. it disappointing. Cool blue is more like all right blue hue. You know, because <laughs> you know. There's nothing special. About blue hue. See, I feel like again, it's just most people like default to a blue color because it's oh, it's blue. It has to taste good. That's not true. I, I get, like Gatorade is just no blueberries. Because remember the one I used to like, the one I mixed up was a much darker. What's a what's a much darker? Pepsi. Huh? The only blue. darker one that even is like sort of close to blue is grape. Yeah, yeah. That's what I can. Think. Like mm. Have we tried gl- uh, Glacier Freeze and Fruit Punch? I have a feeling that might actually taste a little young. A little young. <laughs> a little young. A little, a little young. Just a wee bit young. Just a wee bit young. <laughs> In conclusion, it is a yum out of ten. A yum, yum out of ten. ten. Uh, what do you rate a yum out of ten? Um, say it's a solid nine. Yeah. It's, it's a solid nine on a yum. We're I'd say eight or seven score. because, like, you know. Yeah. Yum, yum is like, hey, this is pretty good. Not, like, extravagant, like, Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay Gatorade. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, hold on. The best. We need to pass this mystery. around. We need to get to the cap. Get to the cap. They call me Captain uh, America because I'm Steve Rogers. My, <laughs> is it your name, Parker? My, my middle name Peter is Steven. Parker. It's close enough. Okay. Ooh. It looks like a slightly darker. Re- Can it I get looks- a glacier's freeze? <laughs> You're just leaving me out on this. You're just giving me fruit punch. That's just- all. <laughs> I mean, like, not gonna take lie. it. Not Bro. gonna lie, the color looks pretty decent. It is like a weird maroonish color. If only, we, if only we can give like a visual representation. <laughs> I mean, yeah. if we had a camera, if I had a camera, I'd be it, get a donation button for us, Ben. <laughs> We need, we need we need those tier one subscribers. We need the tier ones. All right, boys. To let us know on you know. Thank you for your, for being a Bo Scottman tier one sub. <laughs> All right, all done. right, bombs. It's not horrible. Hey, it has Ew. more taste. Oh my god! No, oh, you do not like it. Not, this oh. actually doesn't taste that bad. This actually does taste like a fruit roll up to me. What? Oh my god! It does taste like a fruit roll up. <laughs> what? Exactly. It does. This, this tastes like an Gatorade. Actual Gatorade. Fresh we one. have we have a, a deal for you. We'll get oh. you this fruit roll God, up. That is taste. Great Gatorade. Fruit Three out of Gatorade. four. For Scott Mid report uh, approved. Or oh, wait, Joey, how do you feel? About it? I've been drinking the same thing this whole time. <laughs> oh, the, well, the three out of four for Scotman yeah. uh, uh, so agree on by going, default. Go by default, like nine out of ten dentists. Dentist, so De- nine. That nine one dentist, dentist that doesn't that doesn't like the toothpaste. Yeah, it's probably yeah. just like a real great actually. Yeah, guy. hold on. Who is? I I've always wondered who is that one dentist who just doesn't just who doesn't approve of this toothpaste, but everyone else is. Like, why? They're probably like. It just they're just a brand name guy. No, but also maybe they're just real. Like they're just a Colgate. Well, fan. no. So also it's the same thing with like hand sanitizers. It kills ninety nine point nine percent of germs. But what about that that little sliver of germs because, left? Because then who's that? Who's that one germ who refuses to die? Probably the rich one. <laughs> the the privileged germ. The privileged germ. The privileged germs get to live. Then while us privileges. while us peasants we die to the hand sanitizers oh, wrath. I don't know what you're talking about. This actually tastes really that good. That is like the one drink. Are you saying it's worse than the other one? Yes. Really? 100%. You're, wait, you're saying it's worse than this concoction over here, the fruit punch and cool blue. Yes. The one that has like no flavor versus the one that actually has flavor. <laughs> I like yes. how it called the cool blue looks like it hasn't been opened yet, but there's just another one empty over there. I hate Cool Blue so much. All right. I don't like it like, either. Th- that is worse than the first one. Oh, uh, do we want to do Cool Blue and uh, Glacier Freeze? No. What we have, bro? No. I cannot stand this anymore, boys. Because I can. the Cool Blue is getting to me. <laughs> cool Blue is getting to me. Give it a hand over. 
Give me that blue, blue cool. Don't we do the cool blue glacier? Too? I'm sorry, but I, I am remember. opening this cheddar and sour cream ruffles. Hold right. on, everybody, be quiet for Parker to open the bag. You give me, you give me Vietnam flashbacks of people trying to open up bags and movies and like take a good five whole minutes to open up a dang bag. No. Give me what the ticks you off at a movie theater? Cool blue. Babies. <laughs> babies. Why? Yeah. Why? I why absolutely bring, hate it. Why are you bringing babies to a movie theater? The, they're just going wah, wah, and I'm trying to watch Joker over here. <laughs> why? Why even bring your baby to? Joker no, actually, no joke. So I went to go see Joker in theaters like the week it came out, and I loved it. It was a great movie. But okay. there were, some dingus brought their baby to go see Joker, and this baby started crying right at the scene where, spoiler alert, Joker, you know, like, assassinates the dude on TV. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's when the baby starts crying. And well, it's I mean, it's like, a decent part to cry. Also, real, real quick, okay, this is actually a pretty good-looking drink with Glacier Freeze and Cool Blue. Yes, blue is a very appetizing flavor. Yeah, this mm-hmm. looks very appetizing. Now, now for the Who would have known that blue right. on blue makes blue? All right. Whoa. Go with the looks. Let's get to the tasting. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. The, pre- the pretzels that I ate earlier are coming back to me again. Uh, it's kind of like the one where it just the didn't new, have a taste. Neutral like, blue. <laughs> it's, it's, it's neutral blue. It tastes blue. It's horrible. It, my lord. You know, I feel like Peyton would like this one. You know, Peyton bought the cheddar and sour cream chips. I'll, I'll, I'll use the same thing. And I you have, you know, yeah. I know it here. You I, can just I, I absolutely, I absolutely hate cheddar and sour cream chips, except for the ruffles. The ruffle ones are actually really good. You gotta stay away from the mic when you're chomping. You're gonna get like everyone be like, is gonna hear the <laughs> of the chip. <laughs> no, trust me. Over the weekend, me, uh, me and my dad listened to one of our episodes on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and there, there are points where you legitimately just can't hear. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. Well, did you guys do fix like oh the mic? Oh my god, thing? even has a blunt. Oh my, there's a smell. Oh, there's a smell. Nathan, uh, no, Peyton's just built different when it comes to Gatorade testing. No, it is okay, either, okay, we've it is it either out. good, horrible, or good. There's good, horrible. Oh, that's, <laughs> a good, that's a good scale to put it on. Pain, <laughs> good, pain. horrible, good. Nothing in between. Are you backing me up here? Well, what, what's, your, what's your thoughts on this? It's not horrible, nor... I would put it more on the good side. Yeah. Better, better than the first... First drink. All right. Second one. Right. I'm trying to remember what okay. we did. Okay, wait. He, hear me out. Next time we mixed, we mix pre pow pre workout and other oh powder my drinks God. and no. make them and make a no. concoction. No, 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 no. Actually, actually, no. Drug. My dad has a bunch of those like protein powders. I I think I can like three jugs of those. Okay, let's do like that. different yes. types. Uh, yeah, we have like chocolate flavored. We have this. I think it's blueberry and then oh. something else. Oh no, not oh, blueberry. No. Ah. I have taken very power. I have taken one sip out? of this man's protein shakes. I'm never taking another sip again. You know, the funny thing is, is like everybody drinks like protein shakes. My dad literally just goes through the effort of making a protein smoothie. <laughs> like my, like my dad will, he'll use frozen fruit. He'll put a bit of yogurt into it, a little bit of milk, and then put it in his protein powder, mix it all up. It tastes really nice. Actually. You know, actually, the real, real question is, does anyone care how many of these ruffles I eat? No, uh, I don't. No, as long as it's away from the mic. Yeah, just don't eat it all. No, just as long as the mic is in front of your mouth the whole time. I, I, oh my god, I, didn't, I despise you. <laughs> All right, this is the. All right, what's the next topic of conversation? Next topic of conversation. What do you, what do you, I don't want it. Okay. Well, I'm not yeah, saying, like, wait. dispose whatever liquid you have in the paper cups. Well, I mean, so we already talked about. Parker, do you have any interesting topic of conversation? I actually did make a topic because it, it kind of relates to what I'm being, what I'm interested in. Yeah, as of this moment. Now, I actually realized when we talked about the zombie apocalypse stuff, I mentioned The Walking Dead, and I've, like, been, I've been re watching the show, but that's not what I'm about to bring up. <laughs> Um, so I recently started playing through Call of Duty campaigns again. Oh. I am, dude, dude, Call of Duty campaigns can be really good. I'm just saying that flat out. Oh, yeah. People give Call of Duty a lot of hate, but they can make some good games. Oh, yeah. The last Call of Duty game I played was Black Ops 2. That, that's that's, a, that's a good place to oh, kind yeah. of stop there. <laughs> Black Ops 2 is my favorite COD game of all time. It has the best campaign, in my opinion. Not by far, but it is my favorite. 
feel like what a lot of people. The, the the only bad thing about that entire game is the zombies. The zombies is horrible. Really? Really? Transit is not that. Fun. Well, transit, transit is. But then again, I'm not paying extra money to get the good maps that right. like you need to have a good zombie yeah. experience in that game. Because Black Ops One had a phenomenal zombies mode. Oh yeah. Because because uh, there's Kino and Five, two best zombies maps. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then after that, it just just. Well, and then what about Knock? What about Knock? Knock your own totem was really good too. Yeah. Honestly. It was like that really tested your skills as a player. Like, re- well, not really, because there was one strat that one person did that reached a world record. Literally just went into a square. Yeah. Literally just ran into a square for God knows how many hours. But I will say, because, yeah, COD's, COD's quality got went downhill, like, really fast, just all of a sudden. Because mm-hmm. Ghosts... Ghost was, uh, 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 Ghost didn't have a whole lot to offer. It was mainly yeah. their. It was okay. It was mainly their uh, multiplayer. Oh yeah, I guess. Yeah, multiplayer and was then, horrible. And then I think Call of Duty went down the the EA tunnel of or not EA or what is it is Microsoft yeah Microsoft. FIFA like just Microsoft making Microsoft. the same yeah. game over and over well, again. Like then, I don't understand because Advanced like, Warfare came out and I actually. I think Advanced Warfare is a little bit too hated on. I like it. Black Ops 3 is one of the worst games I've ever played in my entire life. I despise that game with for, all of my heart. For multiplayer and campaign, yes. Zombies the campaign are... was so bad. I've never finished it to this day. Yeah. I, I played the first like six missions, and I'm like, okay. I turned it there off. There was, one, was good, one good mission out of that, and that was with like the transition of the Nazi zombies. That was no. it. That was like the only good mission. I mean, like, what is, is uh, Shepard Black Ops? Shepard. Like Shepard. No, he's General Shepard's in yeah, Modern, Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare, okay. Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2. One of yeah. the best villains in the entire world. I, oh, like, yeah. I feel like you guys are going to be very disappointed about what I'm about to say. You don't like oh. I've never touched a single Call of Duty game in my entire you, life. You, I, I will say, the older CODs, you are missing out big time. Yeah. Black yeah. Ops, Modern Warfare 2, and Black Ops 2, those are yeah. like all you need. I, like, world I, that War is pretty good too. Yes. I feel like. Like realistic shooters just bore the crap out of me. Yeah, Black Ops Two at the time when it, when I had an Xbox 360, that was so much fun. But like I never it was bought any stuff. other COD after that because it was just a fun game to play with friends. But other than that, I didn't see it as it, any other game to keep up on. Even like how, when was it released? Like 2009 almost. Twelve. Twelve. Like still like ten years later, it still has a great community. It still has a well healthy community. Well, I mean, the hackers in the multiplayer suck. That's actually, there have actually the hackers are more like good than they are like just yeah. Your typical. I mean, because so Black Ops Two was the first COD game I beat. Now I had played COD games before that. I played World at War and I played Modern Warfare Two. I didn't play through them. I played with my stepdad because he has a PlayStation. But Black Ops Two was the, I rented it back when you actually rented <coughs> video games when they first came out. Yeah, I know, man. That was a crazy time. I did that and I played through like the first half of the game was absolutely blown away and then i bought the game when i took it back that because like you know you can take it back and they're like oh you want to rent it some more or you could just flat out buy it if you want to so i paid the 30 extra bucks to buy the game and i got home and i beat it and to this day like it's very controversial to say a cod game has had this much of an impact on me but black ops 3 is generally like in my top five favorite video games of all time and its campaign is probably my second favorite video game story overall you mean black ops 2 yeah black ops 2 i'm done yeah, Either I was way. like, how to blame me. Either way, the first Black Ops is also like so bad. Yes. But actually, the, the first Black Ops had a massive impact on me because the Cold War is my favorite war to research about, and Black Ops 1 is set during the height of the Cold War. Yeah. So it, it that's what kind of like led me down that rabbit hole. But, but there's one thing that I don't think you probably noticed. You know Reznov, right? Yeah, he was in World of War. Yeah, but he is like the only character... <laughs> <laughs> I know you. Too. Yeah, we're just like, oh, we have no clue. You okay. guys can go on. I have no clue what's going. I on. figured, but uh, it's, it's you know, it's nice to know me and Peyton could just have a nice conversation over here. So, yeah. Reznov is the I'm just, I mean, what, I, what I'm going by is the only Call of Duty character that has been transferred from a different game to a different Call of Duty title. Technically not true though. Jonathan Price. He was introduced well, in the very first COD. Okay, but like technically that was like retconned, and then they made him just yeah. only canon to the Modern Warfare universe. But yeah, whatever. But Re- Reznov, Reznov had like, like a significant impact. Reznov is awesome, dude. Top five pro, top five characters in my entire franchise. Because for me, I think my favorite one's Frank Woods. Whoever doesn't like Woods from Black Ops, you can go. No. Die. I'll say that. Um, 
And then probably Menendez from Black Ops 2. Phenomenal villain. Then I'd probably say Makarov from the Modern Warfare series. Mason from Black Ops 1 and 2. Even though I do think he was better than the first game than the second. Yes. I like and that. then Reznov. Reznov is my favorite. Like The actor, the voice actor for what he had. Gary had, Oldman. Had the perfect voice for that type well, of Well, then movie. again, Gary Oldman is an Academy Award winning actor. And he's he's in my favorite movie of all time, The Dark Knight. Plays Commissioner Gordon. Bottoms up, Gary. Now, <laughs> now, I can't relate to anything you are saying about Black Ops. I know literally nothing about the game. But there are there is one. Do you need me to explain the full story of Black Ops 2? Because no, I can please, do that. <laughs> please do not. Please. Halo, though. Halo is good. I will agree. Some Halos. Some of them I've not gotten into. That's fair. Uh, it, like Halo 4 and 5, I cannot get into them. For the life of me. Yeah. Halo 3 with friends. I will admit. I have had one Halo 3 session throughout my, throughout my life. We played for like six hours. It was so much fun. Amazing. However, when I was younger, I played through Halo 2, and that was the first, first, first person shooter that I ever played. Halo 2 was phenomenal for the time, too. Like, that was back in the era of, like, online gaming was really starting to get popular. Mm-hmm. Like, what, it came out in, like, 2004? And well, it, it revolutionized how you play those types of games. What, what game was it? Halo 2. Halo Reach was the one I played. I never played the campaign, but like I watched people play the campaign and I tried heard, through it. I've heard a lot of good things. I've heard Halo Reach is like the most Oh yeah. Dude. Halo 2 was released in November 9th, 2004. What? 2004? <sighs> yes. 2004. I wasn't even Lord. born yet. I was born then. <laughs> I was one year old. Oh, uh, but I was two. Well, I remember goodbye, playing Bo. with Goodbye, Fo. Fo's leaving. Bye, Fo. Fo leaving. No, wait, I realized she probably sneezed. I'm so hungry. hungry. Have a good day, happy audience. If you sneeze during this podcast, bless you. Of course. See you all later. See you, Joey. Uh, The Halo Reach. I did multiplayer in this. We did the zombie, you know, the zombie game mode where if you get, if you kill somebody, you kill it. Infected. 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 We would do is uh we would make they made a donut map that you get like all all the oh, yeah. all the uh little uh driver thingies and then you'd go around and keep killing the zombies the over box. Yeah. Zombies would get like that huge hammer thing. Yeah. I actually and, remember COD copied infected, but they did it way worse. Oh yeah. Really? I, yeah, so the first time I ever played infected in COD was in Ghosts. Oh, that could explain it because okay, I the only COD I played infected on was Probably Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3 did a very well good job of that. Well, because Modern, Modern, Modern Warfare 3, I know a lot of people hate on it. I, I get the hate around it. It's It doesn't <coughs> play that differently from Modern Warfare 2. It looks the exact same, too. Like, I mean, compare Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. The graphical change is there. You can see they made an improvement. Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2, there is no more. I, well, because I believe it's almost set in the same time period. It is, however, like just te- the technological advancement behind the scenes. It wasn't there. But some people hate it for that. I actually think Modern Warfare 3 overall is a better game than COD 4, which is a massive hot take because everyone thinks Modern Warfare, like the original, is the best COD of all time. Then what about the remastered, though? It... I ha- I played one mission in the remastered. New- okay. Uh, <clears throat> so for the remaster, so COD 4 and its remastered version, I would say for art style, remat, well. I don't know. It's like... Because well, uh, the weird thing about remasters is they don't look that bad. Okay, character design, like character figures and designs, I would say remasters did a good job of that. Weapons, sound design, I think the original is better. Yeah. Well, so I bought the original trilogy for like five bucks. It, it wasn't even pre-owned. It was an unopened box set for the original trilogy, and I bought it for five bucks. All right, cool. I played through it, and COD 4 was just the only one where it's like... Well, it's over now. Yeah. But the, the one thing I will say that a lot of people don't point out about COD 4, the writing isn't isn't that good. They don't write the characters that way. Yeah. Because in the second one, that's when they expand. You know, because also I'm not a fan of the silent protagonist thing. I don't I don't think I hate it, but you have to give more personality to your characters. And COD 4 didn't do that for soap, so I didn't really care about him in the in the entire trilogy until Modern Warfare 3. Spoiler alert for a 10-year-old. 
Okay, do you do you know what uh, Gaz is? Do you know who Gaz? Yeah, is? I know who Gaz. Is. He okay. was he was doing a lot better in the okay. reboot. Hang on, do you know who Gaz is? Nope. Okay. Hang on. Let me start. No clue. Image. All I know is yeah. soap and a little bit about him. Oh no, soap! You didn't do you on that big. Oh, So trusted you. I did too. But why a bloody hell so, does Makarov know you? So this is Gaz. One of my favorite characters from the original show. This is Gaz. And so, and they brought Gaz back. And, in the reboot. No, not the remaster. No, the and, reboot, that's what I said. Like, uh, 2019. So yeah. So the reboot, that's right. Cod, okay. Modern Warfare 2019. Modern. Porter. Yes. Why? Why? Well, I, I think I know the reason why, because if you... They, I'm, they, pretty, I'm pretty sure if you look up his voice act, because nowadays, COD, when they get the voice actors, they model the character after them. Yeah. So I think with the new voice actors that came in turn that they had to make guys different. Okay, but... Why would you? Do, I get that. I get. Yes, you want to follow those. You want to follow the leaders with those type of figures and correct voice publications. But he was already in a. He was already an image in the COD franchise. Why change it? Why? What would make the difference? Well, like I said, it was probably due to voice actor. Like because yeah. now, now COD focuses on modeling the voice. Because I mean, kind of like what they're doing with Far Cry Six. Yeah, because in Advanced Warfare, Advanced Warfare was the first one to do this because Kevin Spacey played the villain. It would make, because like with that technology that they had, it would make no sense for them to model a character that doesn't look like him. I feel like they needed the star power. And if you look at Mitchell, the main character's voice actor, Troy Baker, who was a phenomenal video game voice actor, he's in like literally everything. That's his face. So I feel like I feel like it just came hand in hand. So then answer me this. You know Takio Masaki, right, from the Zombies trilogy, right? I mean... Kind of. I'm not really that into zombies, but I know who she is. Yeah. She, he, whatever. Takeo Masaki. Yeah. So this is Takeo Masaki, Ultimus and Premise. Then, well, how would you image his voice actor? Asian. Some type of Asian, Asian ethnicity. Wrong. I see. Whitest European man you will see. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know why they changed guys. I was, I'm just thinking it's due to the voice actor. But Maybe they just suck. But I will give, say, uh, like a respect in chat here. That he eventually, he had a stroke lately. Done with voice. So we're talking. Basically, figure should leave gone for now. Until they can probably find better voice actors that do the voice vocal one. But I actually, so moving on to a different COD game, because like, I already pointed out how much I hate Black Ops 3. I have a personal thing. I'm not going to go into it because it's a hot story. But, but no, I can get your reasons. Th this is kind of becoming a hot take for me to say this because a lot of people are starting to say this is the most underrated COD game. World War II, second worst COD game of all time. That game is. Yeah. Yeah. Nathan has no clue what I'm talking about. None. Good. I was saying, it's zombies. Okay, again, back to zombies. It had zombies in it. Zombies were not bad. It, it, it wasn't was, anything special, but it was okay. It was a different, it was a different feel. A different take from the usual. It was a lot easier, for me at least. It felt like Oh yeah, I, I had the starting, starting, there's a starting weapon that you always have. I had the, po I think, no, it was the Mauser. Mauser. Oh, eight. I fought all the way to round twenty five with that pack of bunch. Oh. Like it was so easy, so but easy. The campaign is not good from a writing standpoint because it is so cliched. You don't care about the characters. They don't give you a reason to care. The gameplay is flawed. Like it's just it doesn't feel that good. And the multiplayer, they don't know how to do map design. Map design in that game, the, the maps are either like this big, like a mouse, or like an entire city. It makes no sense. Like, okay, what they should have did was take influence from the World at War series. That is exactly, no, because that's why I was hyped for World War II, because I did not buy Advanced Warfare, or 
or Infinite Warfare because Black Ops 3. I'm like, oh my god, it's going to be the same thing, which I have eventually played the campaign Infinite Warfare. It's not the same. Better. But I'm like, no, I'm not going to buy it. But then I saw they were going back to World War II, and I'm like, oh man, World at War. Yes. This could be the, this could be the successor is- to World at War. I bought it, and I'm like, this is worse than the original trilogy. This game is ho- this, it's hogwash, man. Yeah. It's bad. Because... If you remember back in World at War, they actually had vehicles in their multiplayer games. They were good. They were balanced. And so were the the like, maps were good. Maps Dome. Were... That's all you need. Dome was amazing. Dome was. Yeah, I'm just like. There's also the campaign was a lot better. The, can- the characters were just yeah. better. There was one character I would say in World War Two. Uh, Turner, probably the only one you could probably care about. Probably feel. Uh, isn't he the one that sacrifices himself? Yes. I didn't really care. <laughs> to be honest, I, I, I played through it once, and I'm not playing through it. It, it was such a letdown. So, yeah. Hogwash <laughs> Remastered. Disney remakes Hogwash. Depends on which one you're watching. Move on. I've not seen it. Uh, Don't wait, watch wait, it. Wait, the live action? The live action Mulan. They're making like all the live action movies. Uh, Some of them would work in live action. I actually feel like Pixar movies would work. Yeah, like Ratatouille live action. The main I would see that. I would movie. love to see a rat, just, tr- just a, a real life rat. C- CGI. <laughs> They're gonna make it CGI. Yeah, CGI of course, but like rat, <laughs> just, rat, just no, a rat. But live action so far. Lion King was all right, but so did you I see? I hate Lion King. Uh, did you see the uh? The one that, like, one guy made, like, the trailer different. He made it more cartoonish. And it, better. And it looked better than the Because well, they tried making it serious. I'm like, I get it. It's a it's a cartoon. It's a cartoonish tale with serious stuff in it. Don't make the whole movie serious. Exactly. But also, like, they didn't change anything from the original. Like, at least with, like, Aladdin and from what I heard from Mulan, there are changes. But Lion Not King was good. a good one. It, like, Lion King was a carbon copy, which is the safe way to go. They didn't make it for an enjoyable mm-hmm. experience. I'm like, I have already seen this movie. Yeah, and I like the original. Aladdin, I think they did good on. Like, a uh, friend like me, who, like, as someone who loves Friend Like Me by uh, William, uh, Robert Robert Williams. Robin. Robin Williams. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Uh, such an amazing job on that song. And I was like, okay, Will, uh, okay, Will you're going to have to rock this song. I actually, for me. I, and I was like, okay, this wasn't that bad. Because, like, I was told there was a rap part of it. I'm like, oh, my God, this is going to be terrible. And it, it was only for, like, a line and a half. And I'm like, okay, that's not that bad. But the one thing that I didn't like about the movie whatsoever was the king. He wasn't – he was just only chubby. Oh, he yeah. was so serious. They butchered they the king. They butchered the king. I'm but like, I what? Actually, I actually will say, a lot of people hate Aladdin. A lot of people hated, really? hated the casting. I'm like, this is the number one guy I would have casted to play. Yeah, because obviously you can't have Robin Williams do it. Yeah, Either that or Johnny like, Depp. Either that or Johnny Depp. Yeah, well, Johnny Depp can't be in movies right now. That's... Yeah, because of stupid Amber Heard. Amber Heard. And no, her still dude. being in Aquaman 2. What the heck? No, okay. they fired her. No, no. Nope. That was a man, fake article. Dude, man, dude, I was so hyped for Aquaman 2 because I actually kind of liked the first one. Yeah, Black... Uh, what's his name? Uh, Black the, Manta. Black Manta. Favorite DC villain? <laughs> well, like as a kid, okay. As a kid, I always loved like the heat, the heat ray vision, and then like they made his backstory a little bit better. I mean, I will say in in, in the Aquaman movie because I, I actually have this movie, I've seen uh-huh. it a lot. The setup for Black Manta kind of sucks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it did kind of stink, but like when I used to watch like the littlest bit of DC, he was kind of my my fa- one of my favorite villains. Which is weird, because everyone forgets Aquaman. Yeah. But, so, you know. Like, like for me, when I was younger, like, that DC character. Yeah. Um, a lot. <laughs> I, I didn't eat all of it. But the, the one DC character I, like, always gravitate towards that no one else did was Green Lantern. And guess what? It, it, it was because of the live-action Ryan Reynolds movie, too. The one that literally everyone yeah. speak of it. Yeah, I actually liked that movie when I was younger. Devin, how are you doing, buddy? Devin. Devin's in the chat. Yeah, Rebel Gamers. Hi. Devin, give us a twenty dollars donation. What did he say? I we're know. saving up. We're saving up. No, for... because he did. He paid me way too much last night. Okay, he hasn't paid me. What so... the heck, Devin? Okay. Pay us, you get a Gatorade. <laughs> Pay us, you get a Gatorade made by Parker. Yep. Oh god, which one? It's special. <laughs> it's special. The really crappy one. 
All right. Anyway, back on topic. Um, back on another live app. Okay. One thing that they're doing really good right now. Have you guys seen Cruella? Have not. Cruella, they made it beautifully. Joey, if Joey was here with this, I'm not going to get too far into it because we can maybe say this for another topic. Yeah. Cruella was made so well because at first I thought I was thinking to myself, oh, God, they're making one about a villain and, like, about this will This will be Joker but Disney. Yeah, and I was like, oh, it's going to be terrible. But then when I watched it, I'm like, oh, my God, this is amazing. The, the soundtrack was of, like, some old songs, kind of like what they did with Guardians of the Galaxy. That was really good. And um, just how they portrayed everything and, like, the, the plot twist at the end, the double plot twist, amazing. I read reviews for Cruella, and I saw that the first half was awesome. The second half fell apart. That's what I heard. Uh, no. Uh, don't listen to critics nowadays, people, because <laughs> now they're just saying really crappy things and are just trying to stick Sometimes with Sometimes they are right, though, but, yeah. Only by, a, like, a little. You have to heavy filter them. It, yeah, but I mean, I usually I say go with audience reviews other than tomato. Well, I mean, um, oh well, also I, I did read audience reviews, and I, I only really saw mixed reviews because yeah. now, nowadays I feel like with Disney making all these remakes and adaptations, they're all like, I think people are getting annoyed. With it. Well, yeah, they're getting annoyed with it because they're not making anything new. All they're doing is bringing up like new things every time. And but the thing with Cruella was that like it was not a remake, and it, with, yeah, technically it wasn't original. It wasn't story. A, yeah. And it just was made so well, other than their other things. Because, like, right now, all the, the Mulan was a ch- terrible. They didn't have Mushu. They didn't have I actually didn't the hear general. that. Mushu was the best character in the original. and they Yeah, cut. he was just the best character. That's like I'm taking... He was, uh, he was a little dragon. Oh. That's like taking... Uh, what what was his name? Uh, Mike Lazowski from Monsters, Inc. Yeah, exactly. Really, they Speaking of, Mushu. they did they need to make Mushu. a Monsters Inc. live adaptation. They made it super serious. Did also, also hold on. I need to pull up something else. I don't. I don't want to like. I was actually wanna, like. No. It was made next to a a, a camp, like a like one of those uh, camp. Concentration. Yeah, a concentration camp. Jeez. A live one. Wait, what? Like like active. Oh yeah, Jesus. it was in the background. They had it in the background of the movie. Go get them, Disney! Wait, where were they go- oh, filming this? It was in China. It was in China. It was in China. I'm surprised. They uh, hold on, I'm holding up. They were staying authentic. Kind of. Like, yeah, because there was an actual Mulan in live. Yeah. But I think they were trying to go more toward that than the actual Disney actual Mulan cartoon. Mulan uh, Zing Zhang scenes filmed near 10 internment camps, five prisons. Good job, Disney. Good job, Disney. <laughs> Walt Disney's dead, but his legacy lives on. I guess, I guess, I guess so. <laughs> no, oh, we man. are honoring that man. But that we man. all know how bad of a person that dude was. We all know. I do not, actually. You don't know about Walt Disney? Nope, I did not. All you I should look is, it up. It, well, there's some messed up stuff that that guy did. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but all I know is that Disney nowadays is just super greedy. But I mean, like, I am totally down for a like hit like Pixar live adaptations because I feel like those could work though. Oh yeah. But however, I, I just got to thinking like if they mail a Ratatouille live action at who would play the characters? And I thought of Linguini. You know, he's technically the main character of the movie. Oh, they would have they would have to have Gordon Ramsay in it too. Oh well, oh yeah, to play the sous uh the the sous chef who killed the dude with the thumb. I, I I killed a man with his thumb. The blonde oh, dude. Oh, the blonde. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's oh, literally like, Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. Oh, I dude. I, I yeah, because not only Gordon Ramsay's like not an actor, of course. Oh, oh yeah, but, but like they would some, have him in there, and he can have like a minor too. Yeah, a cameo. But I don't know why, but it came to my mind like Disney would totally cast someone popular like Tom Holland or Timothy Chalamet. That would happen. happen. Yeah. And that would make me so sad. I, I mean, I don't get what's wrong with Tom Holland, though. Like, I, I get that he's, like, the new Spider-Man, and a lot of people are giving hate for him. He's a good actor, and he's also hilarious. I know, but, like, to be honest, I, I, I he's just getting cast in literally everything. That's the thing. Well, yeah, because we're not, we're, we're not, we're running out of good actors. We're, you know, we're running out of good actors. Hollywood. That's I'm right thing. here. We're right, we're right here, Hollywood. Do your thing. Do your thing. Uh, I, I need to be the next Spider-Man. You didn't miss yeah. much, Devin. Talk about live-action movies. Yeah, you gave me 20 bucks. <laughs> But Speaking of live action, how were, have you guys seen Star Wars: The Clone Wars? Yeah, yeah, Clone, like the the the, the, the cartoon. Yes. The show. I'm gonna watch it soon. I have watched a, a lot of episodes. Okay. 
What about a live action event? This is like, but not like that would like, be a risk. That would be like in the Mandalorian. I, I, I know, style? or like a movie. Like, okay, that's gonna be like Mandalorian style because you know how the Star Wars Clone Wars is broken up in the episodes. That right? would be super risky. I know it'd be a super risk because that. Okay, think of it this way: it's like making a live action Gravity Falls. Think of it, right? Okay, that could okay. work. No. But no, and if it doesn't work, it's going to ruin yeah, Gravity Falls look. That's true. And you don't want to ruin Star Wars Clone Wars. That's true. That is true. Because there. you know what exactly happened? Do we want to talk about Avatar Last Airbender, the movie? No. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, yeah, that movie. I forgot. Yeah. They made a live action of that. That they movie did. is so bad. And I, I, I get it. A lot of people hate on M. Night Shyamalan as a director because he has the track record of making great movies the sixth sense fantastic yeah. film then he makes something like the, what was it uh, lady in the water or the avatar the last airbender yeah and he's horrendous oh yeah i'm like dude but you guys have seen mandalorian right I oh seen... dude yeah i'm like the biggest mandalorian fan there is <laughs> i've seen and what is it okay quick question what are they making the next season uh sometimes sir because I, I, don't, I don't think from what i've heard they're making uh, not to like change off the subject of yours are they like not having the Mandalorian as the main character then? Because, uh since he's kind of giving away, you know. Yeah, uh, Grogu. Grogu. I don't necessarily know. Uh, I haven't heard much, but I know they're still making episodes, but they just have yet to release. Yeah, because it's gonna take a long time. Because you know, I. A lot of people are like, oh, Mandalorian was just so much hype, like, saying it's overrated. Well, they're like, also still currently, they're working on Kenobi and Ahsoka. Yeah. That's what they're currently Yeah, working. and then they also had, who was the guy, like, like who uh, Ahsoka was looking for? Everyone made jaws drop. Like, when you first saw Ahsoka. By the way, guys, asking, spoilers. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, it's also, like, a year ago or so. Wait, but, like, she was, looking, she was for... looking for, like, a general... General something. And General just... Shepard. <laughs> like, okay, so I'll when, have to look when, when up, was like, this? When was this said? Like, was uh, this it was like you remember the the fighting scene with uh, Hasoka and that lady from Hasoka. that. You call her Hasoka? Hasoka, yeah. Hasoka. <laughs> uh, I've never Ahsoka. seen. Any, I've never Ahsoka? heard anyone say Hasoka. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hasoka. But uh. Oh, yeah, I do remember now. She's like, Yeah, and then she said, Where is General Blank? And it was like a huge thing in like Clone. It was, I don't know if it was in Clone Wars or the animated series one. Oh, that's the animated series. Oh, it is? Clone Wars. Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, that like, confused. <laughs> yes. What am I not? Oh, God. I'm trying to remember <laughs> the mask archive they have. Oh. Hold on. Uh. Now, Devin, family friendly here, okay? <laughs> what did he play? Wait, she hot. My, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> I want a blank Ahsoka. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. The iPhone account. We don't speak with, we don't speak with him. You actually want to know, like, one property I really want to get, like, a which I know, now, this is a video game, which I know it's super risky to make video game, like, adaptations. Cause they yeah. can Gen either... uh, Adm Grand Admiral Thrawn. Oh, yes. Yeah, I know who he is. I don't know who he is. I do. But, like, when I heard, when she was asking for that guy, everyone's jaws dropped. That's because, okay, so during the Imperial reign, he is the most, ugh, how can I say this, most well-known admiral of the Empire fleet. Like, he is, oh. like, like, a hundred steps ahead of his opponent. He is so good. Uh -huh. He is, like, the most feared, but he's also the most well-respected, even with it, again, even his enemies well-respect him. Yeah. And he respects his enemies. That's what makes him so good. So he's like the Joker. <laughs> oh, my God. What about you and Dark Knight? I Dark Knight love is... that movie so I think, so I think much. every podcast has I brought, had I brought it up. Yeah, has involved Dark Knight. Dark Knight. It's it, it's a masterful film. Eleven out of ten would watch it. I mean, if there's a Star Wars topic we want to talk about, I can get Zach in there. Me and him know a lot about Star Wars. I want to start getting into Star Wars real quick because, like, the Mandalorian hooked me. Yeah. Uh because didn't like spoilers, of course. Didn't uh, didn't Anakin like kill all the young Jedi's? 
He did. Yes. Yeah, he did in the film. Yes, he did. Because of so, uh, Order 66. so what? What is your thought on Grogu, Grogu being alive then? Not surprising because there were other Jedi like children that in the Republic stay alive. Oh, I or, thought he killed all of them. No, because there were so powerful ones out in the field, like Ahsoka, out battling with uh-huh. masters, in which she survived. Technically, okay, I'm not going to spoil on how she survived because that is in the Clone Wars series. Uh-huh. So, not spoiling that. Okay, good. So, I don't know if you've already seen memes of it or not. I have not. Good. It it will ruin it. Trust me. Okay. But I will give you a little tip. Ahsoka was the most hated character in Star yeah, Wars. Yeah, I remember like a long time ago, Ahsoka was hated by everyone. But nowadays, people are like, "Oh my god, why did we hate her?" Because no, that's because that was that was intentional. Dave Filoni intentionally made her bad. Why? Because character development. Make the community hate her so much, and then literally the next season was build up of her character development and her learning, trying to get to know everything, all what's happening. Yeah. And that's what built her character development up, having the community love her. Uh-huh. That's what made it better. Yeah. So, Dave Filoni does a great job at directing and scripting shows like uh, especially star wars but a great yeah. job and i'm glad they didn't like you know of course try and make any other disney big disney director try and help with it because wasn't there one lady that everyone was like yelling to not direct oh yes i yes uh, i don't know who she is but yes wait and bang on the table more <laughs> what do you say uh Devin said bang the table wait Bang the table on. Bang the table one more time, and you will feel my wrath. You're welcome, Devin. Anyway, oh yeah, we're at an hour. It was an hour and a half podcast. Actually, yeah. When did okay. you guys start? We started at uh, like what was it? Three thirty? Yeah, we always start. Really? And it, it, it's gonna be four thirty anyway. So how's it gonna be an hour and a half? Probably because oh. of... Did you guys have, you, like, a time Oh, board? wait, yeah. no, wait, hang on. I forgot. Because you, started, cause wait, you did no. the setup for it. But, yeah, I did the start, start oh, the same yeah. thing, so it's delayed, like, half an hour. So it's, we've been in here about 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I forgot yeah. I did that. I forgot yeah. that. Anyway. Yeah. 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 Oh, man. Okay, one more thing. The Star Wars theme for the Dark Troopers. Or what were they called? Death Troopers? The in the Mandalorian. Well, there's, there's the two, crap out of the Mandalorian. There, there are those two things that you said are different things. There are dark troopers and there are death troopers. The ones that were seen troopers. at the near end that Luke Skywalker just butchered. I think those were like 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 true death troopers, like Yeah, because like and because Grie- uh not not General Grievous. What was his name? Uh God, I don't know. Uh, yeah, he was like, one thing wrong about the trooper was the human inside. And then I was like, that theme was just so good. I listened to it for at least a couple weeks because, like, it's a mixture. It was like dubstep. And they made it just so well. Skrillex. Yeah, they just out of nowhere brought dubstep into Star Wars. I'm like, okay. It was a risk, but that risk was really well made because. Their theme was so made, and then they added like the flute for the Mandalorian, like, uh, the. Oh yeah. Yeah. Was the main intro. Oh, the Mandalorian, oh, dude! It was just such a good show. I can't wait for Kenobi, because apparently what Kenobi is supposed to do is start from the Phantom Menace. Oh, so like, it's it, well, to be, like okay. Young I wouldn't Kenobi? say start, but with Quan Chi. One cheese from Mortal I think Kombat. It, so wait, remember well, how I Qui-Gon said Jin. Qui-Gon Jin? Yeah, same difference. Remember how I said like the Clone Wars should get a nation? Yeah, they ca- technically are doing that because they are going to do Kenobi during the Clone Wars. Yeah. So we're going to see like live adaptation of the Clone Wars. Are we going to get a young version? Okay. No, of uh, the actor of Kenobi. <laughs> no, it's going to be the same. Movie. Ewan McGregor's still casting it. Oh, he is? yeah, he is. He's. Have you not seen? Him? He's trying to grow out the Kenobi beard and everything. Like, you know, that's goodness, that's great. What are they gonna? 
start this? Uh, I think it's supposed to be in like spring, actually. Oh my goodness. I'm pumped, honestly. Yeah, I am too. My whole family is. I can't blame you. Oh, man. What I'm excited for is that if they add like Captain Rex, Commander Cody back, back in every all the good all clone good. troopers that Did we've seen. Did it say please? <laughs> oh, heavy. Oh, heavy was great. Yeah. It's too bad he lived for not. <laughs> spoilers. That's just the straight podcast. Yeah, this is spoilers. nothing. Is but cl- well, then again, the Clone Wars TV show is like, it's getting a little. Right. I mean, it started like what? Oh, I feel so old. When did it start? Yeah, I, feel too. I mean, bro. Actually, speaking of, they just greenlit a new Amazing World of Gumball TV show and movie. What? And that's making me feel even older. Cause a I, movie? Yeah, there's gonna be a movie. How are they gonna? Okay, Gumball was made. So, I think that was the 2000, last. 2011. I think that was the. 2011. That, that that was when the pilot was there. I think. Are you joking? I was five years old when the pilot came out. And I remember being obsessed with that okay, show. The first, like the first episode of Star Wars: Clone Wars came out in October third, two thousand eight. Okay, yeah. Okay, Damn, I'm getting these all right. Wow. Hold on. Back to Gumball. That was made in two thousand what? Eleven. Oh, like Gumball was made in two thousand. That, 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 that feels swear. way too long ago. I swear. That feels way too long. I ago. swear it was in two thousand eleven. Okay. Two thousand eleven or two thousand ten. One. The the pilot may have come out in two thousand ten. Oh I told my you, goodness. 2011, dude. I feel okay. I thought it was like 2015 or 16. No. Holy schmoly! Hey, this will make you feel even older. Regular show, 2009. Oh, oh my god, god. no! A regular dude, show really? is so good. And hey. then there's Adventure Time, which is overrated. Okay, Adventure Time season one, amazing. After that, I think it fell off. And then, then it kind of fell off. Regular show, however, was good throughout the entire run of the show. Oh yeah. For some reason, when I was a kid, I didn't like regular show, but then I came then, back to it, well, actually, and I'm like, oh my god, why did I hate this? No, there can actually oh. be a, there can actually be an explanation for that. Regular show was originally made for adults. Random guys. Oh well, yeah, and now they have the creators and the art artists of that making an actual adult swim. Yeah, so that that might be a thing. Like the show didn't connect well with like. Anyway, yeah, sorry, I don't have my notebook with me to remember the names. I'm sorry, but yes. What? Thank you, Henry. Welcome back. To the welcome street. back, Henry. Yeah, he came back. Tell us well, right now? Came back like a. He didn't tell us anything. He just said Star Wars question. Yeah, well, came back. Welcome, right. buddy. He we'll came see. back right at the end. <laughs> this, is, this is about where we're done. Yeah. So who says we're done? Well, I saw I was gonna be getting homework. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, we can just do. P man or <laughs> Wee Man. Wee Man. Oh wait, or no. Scott. Scott Wee. Scott. It would be Scott, but we is silent. That's yeah. it. Who's Scott? And why is this has been a heavy like gaming Star Wars topic? So yeah, yeah, we really nerd out this one, I think. Yeah. I mean that's what we do best. Devin yeah? just wait. Devin said to check out the stream. What? No. What? We're streaming right now, my guy. Yeah, I'm just streaming right now. What do you mean? Anyway, you can check it out your stream. Man. I mean, that's what we do best. We just nerd out. Like, yeah, I guess so. All, well, I mean, I mean, like all of us know the topics. And we have, I, I think the only person that I know is actually watching this is Miss Kershaw. Wait, hold up. That is true. Devin just said to check out. What stream? How do you know Devin? What's going on? I actually know you. I am scared now. Why? Who is he? What's I going don't on? Know. Hold up. I don't, I don't know, Henry. No. Do wait, hold on. Do, ra- do random guy and Devin know? No, you wouldn't know. No, okay. Well, we know you now as Henry, so welcome, Henry. What's up, Harold? Harold? <laughs> yes. Imagine. Don't Harold. disrespect my weakness. Yeah, we don't have too many. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> the host got a report. Real name is Jimmy. Jimmy? Jimmy? Are you Jonathan? Jimmy's man. <laughs> dude, we're not doing that dude, here. I swear. We're not doing that here. Your, your Carl Weezer impression is so good. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. Jimmy, you want to send a picture of your mom to the Rose Scout Middle Chorus? Yeah. Uh, did you forget this is a school podcast? What's wrong? I, I, can, I, can, I can be Carl Weezer. 
You hey, you've cursed on this podcast oh, yeah. twice. Twice, as a matter of fact, I think you did it a in few the same times. episode. Same episode, and you did it today. Oh, well. Yo, you can't SpongeBob. Me Bob. Me, SpongeBob, me Bob. SpongeBob, me boy. Why are you? You should become a voice actor. That's what I'm thinking of doing, but like, I don't know. I don't like. It might, I might have to do it as a hobby because if I make that as my actual job, I probably won't go anywhere. Because like, you are gonna that. make like five bucks an hour. Yeah, not not even an hour, just five bucks. <laughs> just overall income yearly five dollars. Welcome back, Devin. Welcome back, Devin. Right. But uh, also, welcome back and probably goodbye. Yeah. yeah. I will be streaming later today, hopefully. I don't know if Devin will be playing with Flat though or not. Oh. Ugh, sick. Nothing but ranked with you guys. Sponge What's wrong ranked. with unranked, and huh? If you want, if you want, I will be streaming later today, hopefully on Rainbow. Playing some ranked, so if you want to come by, watch that. You're free to come. Yeah, yeah, but of course it has to be ranked, not unranked. Just not let me play Sweat. with Sweat. Sweat. I mean, dude, they, that's all they can play, really. And that's the competitive side. I mean, well, if he could do a private practice with the Oregon team, could. Yeah, but like, also, I think out of all the times, I think I played the game three times with Devin. But this is off topic for the post guy report. We'll talk about this another time. Yeah, but all right. Well, that will be it for today. Thank you all for coming out, uh, Devin and Henry. Uh, thank you for coming out. We do enjoy hanging we, out We right enjoy, here. yes. Without a doubt. But, All right. But uh, I think that'll be it for the Folks Got Me Report, and we are done with today. Adios, people.